No way. Guys, guys. Oh my god. Holy sh No fucking way. Dude, Nintendo are fuming right now. Everyone keeps talking to me about the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck. I remember covering it a lot on stream. We looked at it together. I said even back then that I think this thing has huge potential to fill in a market that is like that the Switch doesn't fill. And I think even SkillUp, SkillUp has said too that from this point on forward, he will only play on a Nintendo exclusives on Nintendo. And this is exactly, I think, what the Steam Deck does. It basically makes third-party titles on the Twitch, on, on the Switch almost obsolete because you will just play everything on the Steam Deck and uh, you will only use the Switch to play exclusives, which is already what I do. I have a video here by the beloved Linus Touch Tips. So I want to know if this is good. Does anyone here, has anyone here bought it? Has anyone here has got it? Nope, not me. No one has it. Uh, to my knowledge, it's also very hard to get your hands on it, if I heard correctly. It's like only the pre-orders got it and it's uh, only through this one link. I think right now, you you, you can't even get it. I think the ergonomics are a bit off. You know what? I have learned one thing. Button layouts can look really fiend scuffed. You have to hold it in your hands to know what it's like. Sometimes weird layouts can actually work once you, they have, you have it in your hand. On the one hand, I want to be optimistic. The kind of zeal with which Valve is tackling this project is like nothing I've ever witnessed in all my time covering technology. Every major player in the console gaming space, I'm looking at you, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony has made enough blatantly anti-consumer moves over the years that I can't help but cheer for a disruptor. Ah, is Nintendo anti-consumer? I, I own it. You know what? I would say Nintendo is not anti-consumer. I just think Nintendo doesn't understand anything. They just don't know anything about consumers. Anti-consumer means you you know what the consumer wants and you say, fuck you, we do, the, we, do the, we do the opposite. Nintendo, they're just like, they don't know that they're consumers. They just make a product and they ship it. They don't even know that the consumers exist. So they're just like in their box, like blah, blah, in their ivory tower going blah, 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 like a giant pot and they stir it. Blah, 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 and whatever comes out, they throw it out and they don't even look, they don't look. The next thing. And then what people say is it's anti-consumer. But they're not anti-consumer. They just don't know the consumer. Obviously, that's wrong. Obviously, they do a ton of market research. I know, obviously. But I just feel like Nintendo is completely oblivious. Sometimes they do moves where it's like, oh my god, only a genius with a hand on the pulse of the time could pull off a move like Nintendo just did. And then I'm like, hello? Wake up! SH can be like, hey, you're just not educated on their practices. Uh, well, actually, shut the f up! I know Nintendo are suckers. I know they're scumbags. Because they don't know anything. They just, they live in their own f***ing reality. They live in their own reality, Nintendo. They have a different uh, uh, modi, modus uh, operandi. This thing has the capability to be treated like a science fair project. You can tweak it, break it, reformat it, start over. And Valve is embracing that. Good guy, Val. I heard some things about the frame rate. I heard some things. It's like a mystery. What I heard is just optimization. Some games are very well optimized. Some are just like, yikes. The hardware in the Steam Deck is literally impossible. The internals of this thing. What does that the mean? the same performance class as Ultrabooks that cost twice or even up to three times as much. And if it's a title in Steam's game library, the deck- Really? Is it that good? I heard like in order to really move the, use this thing properly, you need to buy the most expensive version, which, which has like a SSD in it. Almost certainly capable no. of running it at 60 FPS if you're willing to turn down the details. And that colossal back catalog is both its greatest strength and its biggest question mark. Oh, should I get this thing, bro? There are some things where I honestly do think that I would love to be able to turn off my PC, take my Steam Deck, and just continue playing my PC game on that Fiend. thing. Like, enter the gungeon. I could play this on 60 FPS on this thing. Or uh, the evil within. Sifu! Oh my god, I could play Sifu on this thing mobile. Shit, man, that's all you had to say! I don't think it makes sense for you. It's great for when you travel a lot. I travel a lot. I go up, up the stairs all the time. Highlight is the Steam Deck's online first design. And I couldn't help feeling, looking at this, like the Switch is suddenly this relic of a different gaming era. I wanna know benchmarks, motherfucker. Honestly, climb fall human guys? <laughs> really? I wonder if it's a Fall Guys ripoff. Everybody knows Steam is a cesspool of TV. Who cares? Just play the games that are good. Header that allows you to browse titles Yikes. that are verified to run flawlessly by category, popularity, ratings, discounts. Oh, I just saw Hitman 3. Oh my God, being able to play Hitman. Oh, I know that you can play Hitman on Switch, but it's streamed, so you have to be right on the internet, right on the, the nuts. If... <laughs> Do you guys think this will be like a yearly thing? Like the, like Samsung phones and and, 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 and and iPhones, like yearly, the, the better Switch Steam. But also Doggo in chat is also right. I, I don't, like right now, especially during the current times, I don't travel enough to really warrant this to make sense. Like I, it, it doesn't make sense for me. And whatever the reason is for this obfuscation, I don't care. 
it's a terrible user experience. My first Google hit for a workaround was this list on digital trends from a few days ago, which led me down a rabbit hole to Steam oh, Deck Verified.Avery.Cafe, a totally I'm gonna check if my favorite that's... games are playable. Is there like a fast way to do this in your library? This is library. Is there a way to check it, to check, like if I click on Katana Zero on the game page? That sucks. I should be able to see my library and see what game that is already in my library is compatible. I feel like that should be, it should say that they should add this right here. Every click matters, 100%. It's such an interesting device i love it i honestly i love the idea of it or maybe the plan is just to allow me to buy additional copies of games that i already own heading into the library things take a turn for the better i installed a one terabyte micro sd card and found that while i didn't always get a prompt for which storage device i wanted to use bro being able to play batman arkham arkham oh, oh I, I just no oh man i just don't have the use for this thing i think but dude this is so good ones that i picked up more recently to enjoy on the deck and pretty much every other unknown status game that i tried was a big fat negatory Ooh, ooh! <laughs> i didn't see that error message yikes That's the number the... of verified games has been absolutely skyrocketing including many games that i would actually want to play while i wait for some of my favorites to arrive and you've got your quick settings in here, you can adjust screen brightness. This looks very familiar to the Switch, which I, which I like. Then there's the boring tab. The, sorry, did I say boring? <laughs> I meant the opposite of that. This is the coolest one. And it is time for the rest of the console industry to sit up and take notes. That right there is an integrated performance monitor based on- <gasps> Oh, oh, that's a nice. You oh, can... that's so nice. Wait, this thing is integrated? I, I like that. Change the consumer spectrum. Windows for enthusiasts and tinkerers. That, that I like. Reminds me of my uh, MSI Afterburner. But what they don't do a good job of is bridging this gap. And when I contacted them asking for a temperature readout for the Xbox Series X, for example, they acted like I was from the moon. An FPS counter? Why would you want that? More like- <sighs> It does make sense though. Console gamers just don't care about that kind of stuff. What are you trying to hide? This is in stark contrast to Valve's approach here, which appears to be... Well, I don't know, man. I mean, it's your thermal... <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, Damn man. Damn straight. I mean, why pretend that a performance issue isn't real, creating confusion among consumers when you could just give the enthusiasts the tools that they need to die? Yeah, I, I know I, he's right. I, but you know what? If there's the best thing, the best the best, best, best thing about this, in my opinion. The device itself is, I think, pretty cool from what I've seen right now. The best thing about the Steam Deck is that Nintendo is getting competition. It's not occupying the exact same space in what it's trying to, who it's trying to cater to, but still there's overlay. And the fact that Nintendo has some competition, because honestly, Nintendo is the only handheld right now. Sony gave up. Microsoft never really had one. So I, I like the fact that Nintendo is sweating and looking at this very closely. But uh, I hope that Nintendo is sweating and um, if, the, if, yeah. I remember I said this when Steam Deck was announced that the extent to which this is a threat to Nintendo depends on how lucrative and profitable are all these ports, PC ports and all these other ports from other uh, games that are coming to the Switch. How much money is that making them versus their first party titles. This, I just don't know. If they're making a significant amount of money from ports, then the Steam Deck is a threat because people will not buy it again. If they can just play it from their account on Steam Deck, they will not buy it again on Switch. Why? It will run smoother on Steam Deck and they don't have to buy it again. There's, there's no reason. But if Nintendo doesn't really make much, like a percentage rise from all these ports, then they don't really have to give a f Then they just say, you know what, whatever. We'll double down on our first party titles. They're just quality. They speak for themselves. And that's it. The people who are buying Steam Decks are PC gamers. They don't play third party on Switch. Nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the thing up. I don't, I, I don't know about that, Jupe. I don't know about that. I have bought games before that I owned on Steam and I bought them again on Switch just so I could have them mobile. Even though the performance was worse and I had to buy it again. Steam Deck 2 comes out. Shame on it's me. It's gonna be trivially simple for gamers to compare performance, which is a powerful upsell mechanism that it is baffling to me that everybody else doesn't want to leverage. So this is the proof that you can build something for the hardcore. This is awesome. I done it for Pixel Indies. I bought Skyrim for the Switch. I admit it. I, hey, shame me. I don't care. I admit it. I bought Skyrim for Switch. 
And what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I did it! I did it! I did it, you hear? And I'm glad. Glad, I tell ya! Uh, oh, God. I uninstalled all third-party games from my Switch recently, like a year ago. I only have exclusives now on my Switch, but I bought Sky... I'm just gonna say it, and I'm not gonna look at chat. I bought Skyrim on Switch. I bought um, Sniper Elite 3 on Switch. I bought Enter the Gungeon again on Switch. I bought Resident Evil 4 on Switch, and now hold on to your fiend dick for this. I bought Civilization 6 for Switch. What are they gonna do? <laughs> oh, God. Listen, the, I, 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 was, I was down bad, okay? I was down bad. The thing about playing Civilization 6 on Switch is that it, 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 it just works. You can play the whole game with a touch screen, and it was fiend awesome. I'm sorry, it, it's really good. So you paid me. <laughs> Uh, Renton, you bought uh, 10 games that you had on PC for no reason on Switch again, so you paid me 500! I mean, Valve has had a much better offline experience than many other platforms for years, and that work is paying off in spades here. To demonstrate, let's abruptly suspend a game session here. Right, this is how, how fast you can switch. Same game on desktop and... Oops. We get a prompt warning us that we could lose progress if we continue. Waking the deck. Closing the game and putting it back to sleep resolves the issue, but... Huh, 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 huh! I thought it would... It, mm, that's a bit of a pain. But then just save the game, no? Save the game to the cloud and then you're fine. But it's also encouraging because it means that looking at it like a console, once we've worked through the generous 400 some odd game launch titles, there's hope that it's going to be better for years to come. I think the whole compatibility thing, that's also just growing pains. At, at, at some point, every every new game is going to be compatible, I think. This is just the beginning problem right now. And obviously going back, not everything will be compatible, but I think every major game and every mi also minor major game, like indie games that have a lot of clout, they will be compatible. This is just an early thing. So it's incomplete, but I'm not complaining. I mean, I spent my whole life as a gamer asking for someone to take the guardrails off my console and let me do it. It's an amazing product, man. Holy shit. Super exciting product. I think I will get the next one. Like, honestly, I, I, mm, I mean, there's no way to say for sure, but I think I'll get the next one. As the world opens up a bit more and I can travel and shit, and, and I don't know, and I will spend more time maybe on the couch upstairs and not here. <sighs> I think it's an amazing product. I hope Nintendo is sweating there. Got, got ball sweat. Ah, but it doesn't have what the Switch has, and that's the... You know what I mean? Doesn't have the... And also something that the Switch has. On the Switch, I can take off the, the sides. Bum. I got two, I, then I got two controllers. I put the Switch down on the thing, and then Sophia and I can both play Mario Kart together split screen on one device. That is such an epic thing that the Switch has. No competition. Shout out to Linux. Shout out to your family. The guy doesn't disappoint. Never does. Watch emulators on Steam Deck. Emulators, dude. Is it already, wait. Steam Deck Switch emulate. Is it already, are people already doing this? No. Oh, <gasps> let's go! Nintendo faced backlash after publishing DMCA and takedown videos showing Steam Deck emulation. The war has started. There ain't no stopping this train, Nintendo. Yikes, they're sweating! Woo! People are gonna be playing Nintendo games on the Steam Deck. Oh my god, it has begun. If I can emulate all my S Switch games on the Steam Deck, then I'm sorry the Switch has become obsolete. Ah, uh, no. I still- No, no, no. The Steam Deck still can't. You can't emulate that! If there's good emulation on the, on the deck, I don't know if it makes sense to keep my Switch, honestly. He has the collector's edition of Death Stranding, and... You think it's weird to have a baby in a jar here? That's not weird. Have their Steam decks Okay, shipped. this guy, yeah. all classic gaming news, always thousand uses. Pretty good graphic settings at pretty good frame rates on a freaking- Here we go, recapping the entire world history. Why don't we start at the Fiend. medieval dead times? It's not just a portable PC, it's a portable retro console wonderland. Dude, we're that's it. it. It's begun. Oh my god. This is this is absolutely amazing. To install emulators on the Steam Deck or the... Oh, no way. And all emulators I wanted are in their installation with a click. Dolphin, PC, SX2, Yuzu! It's over. I want to find a video. Steam Deck, Breath of the Wild, four hours ago. No way. Guys, guys! Oh my god. Holy sh No fucking way! Dude, Nintendo are fuming right now! Not saying without a reason, not, not saying even without a reason. They are, but come on. Not saying it's good or bad, but they are fuming. Ooh, the frame rate, uh, it looks- Wait, I can't see the frame rate. Who records like this, man? Where does it say- 
frame rate, I think that's the frame rate, I think. 15, 26, 30, 30? I think that's the FPS. I'm not 100% sure. I think that's what it says. I think the Yuzu emulator doesn't play uh, Breath of the Wild as fluently as Simu does. Uh, Simu, it's 15 when it's rendering stuff, otherwise, it's 30. It's not ideal. It's not ideal, but it is still a problem for Nintendo. That's for sure. Damn, this is exciting, man. This is crazy. God, imagine you're Nintendo right now. It's not really a big problem for you if a few people emulate a game here and there, but they just want to shut down just people that shouldn't know about this, especially if it's easy. If everyone's going to emulate their game on the Steam Deck, the only thing you need then is take a chainsaw and maybe and, and create that. And then you have a Switch. Dude, Nintendo's got to step it up. Nintendo, you got to step it up. Target acquired. I'm so happy about this device, even if I won't get to play it. I'm very excited to see what Nintendo's next moves are. Look up Sifu on Steam Deck. Okay. Yeah, okay. These are these are shaders loading, yeah? I'm guessing. When it has when it has these slowdowns. Dude, it's fluent. It's, it's completely fluent. Basically. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know. I, I, I. But we're forgetting we're forgetting to mention that this does not run out of the box, right? You need to install Windows and then install Epic. Why no? Epic works on Linux. Maybe I'm fundamentally not understanding this console. I thought that the Steam Deck is basically just there's Steam on it running on Steam OS, which is like basically Proton, which some games are compatible for. There's no desktop there. There's a Linux desktop. Oh, okay. Ah, Steam OS is Linux. Wait, so Linux is made by Steam? No, I'm so confused. Yes.